Hello once again, everyone. We're visiting with Kath Ann Kress. Kath Ann is the new Dean of the College of Food, Agriculture, and Environmental Sciences and the new Vice President for Agricultural Administration. Now, that is a lot to say. It's a mouthful, isn't it? <laughs> it is, but at Ohio State, any kind of... Well, uh, at the Ohio State University. <laughs> I am corrected. I, I shouldn't. I, I do know that. Uh, tell us a little bit about your background, where, where you came from before this position at Ohio State. Oh, I'd be happy to. Yes, I, I came here in May from Iowa State University in Ames, uh, and there I was Vice President for Extension and Outreach, uh, so working with all of our programs all throughout the state, much like we have with Extension programs here uh, in Ohio. Uh, and before that, I had the great privilege of serving uh, at the Pentagon in Washington, D.C. Uh, I was responsible for providing support uh, to families of the Reserve and Guard who are primarily rural. And so working with the land-grant universities throughout uh, the nation uh, to do that. And before that, I had quite a stint at the United States Department of Agriculture, uh, working uh, with programs that were prim primarily around agricultural education. Now, uh, after coming to the Ohio State University in, in your current position, mm -hmm. uh, do you come with certain goals in mind, or are you uh, at first just sort of perusing the, uh, the outline of what uh, the college has to offer? Well, a little bit of both. Uh, you know, certainly there's uh, a lot to learn here in Ohio, the breadth of agriculture, uh, the breadth of the talent of our faculty and students. Uh, I, I certainly want to make sure I take all that in. Uh, but I certainly have some, some goals for us as well. As I, I looked at this position, uh, I think while we have a tremendous amount of talent, we've got a lot of great partners, uh, it would really be helpful for us to have a little bit more focus with some of the work we do. And so that's what I'm hoping uh, we can bring to this as well. So now, I'm not sure if you've been here long enough to know, but uh, by someone that is, has been uh, reared in, in this uh, climate here, so to speak, uh, Ohio has, has the ideal... Uh, the, the fact that so many organizations, uh, the college itself, the, uh, the Department of Agriculture at the state level, mm -hmm. uh, the industry, uh, everybody sort of works together. Some, yes. some states, oh, yes. that's not the case. Oh, but no. We're some states, that's not true. Uh, but it is absolutely true. I, I have been so uh, pleased with how warmly I've been welcomed, how we're already uh, working on building collaborations, uh, and many of the partnerships that are longstanding. Uh, you're right, you don't see that everywhere. Uh, and, and uh, you know, I, I come here from Iowa where thankfully there was a similar spirit of collaboration with everybody really recognizing how important it is to the agriculture industry that we work together, that we have unified messages about our industry. Uh, those are all really important things to our future, and, and I'm really happy to see that here as well. The Farm Science Review at the Molly Kieran Agricultural Center is uh, one of the premier shows across the country. Have you had uh, the, the, the access to the review in, in past years, or is this a first for you? Oh, this is a first for me. Uh, you know, in the past I attended the Farm Progress Show, uh, you know, which was often hosted in Iowa, uh, but I hadn't made it here uh, to this, so I'm very excited to be here. Uh, it's, it's almost like being a, a child on Christmas morning, isn't it? You know, everything that I'm interested in and, and care about is all like right here all at the same time. You just have to walk a little bit and then there's something else. As they've been trying to drive me around today to meet people and see things, I keep making them stop because I see something I want to see or somebody I want to talk to instead. And, you know, the demonstrations are going on right now and that's been pretty exciting. I hear somewhere on the grounds you can test pilot some drones. I want to get a chance to do that. But the thing that I've really been excited about this morning is the number of young people that I've been seeing. You know, the FFA groups and the 4-Hers and others, uh, your own grandson here. Uh, it's, it's just terrific to see these young people coming out, learning more about agriculture, uh, and having this uh, great opportunity to be exposed to all of the technology, the science, and the opportunities all in one place at one time. You know, if we go back uh, a few uh, persons in your position, I remember uh, uh, when Bobby... Uh, well, Bobby's here. I just ran into oh, him. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> when Bobby was first here, we, uh, you know, we, we spent several years at the review, and, and toward the, those last years that, uh, before he retired, I kept mentioning to him that, you know, Bob, if, if we wanted to get into Ohio State University now, 
I don't think we can make it because the kids, the students, uh, they were just getting better and better all the time. And, and that has to be a, a feather in the cap for the college itself. Oh, absolutely. Uh, we are so proud of our students and, and their talent. And, and it's not only that, but we're absolutely committed to student success. Uh, and a good example I can give you of that is that uh, when we know that once a student gets into our college, uh, our first year and second year retention rates are among the best at the university. And so what that tells me is they get in, the, it's a high quality education, it's meaningful, and we're providing support. Uh, and that keeps them uh, staying in school, which is what we want. Uh, part of that is because about three out of four of our students uh, get scholarships. Uh, we want to keep uh, this experience at the university affordable for their families, and so I'm really proud of the fact that we have that many scholarships that we're able to offer to our very talented students. Uh, the other thing that we're best in the university about uh, is uh, that our students complete their degrees uh, at a higher rate in four years than any other part of the university. And that's even doing internships and some other experience like study abroad. Uh, and I, I think that's just a great testimony to our faculty and how well they plan the curriculum. Uh, but that's important for students to be able to get in, get a high quality education, and then get moving. And we know they get moving at a great rate. 92% uh, of our students, uh, when they graduate, are going to be hitting the ground running with either a job or already accepted into graduate school. And we're very proud of that, too. Well, you know what? Uh, the Ohio State University also starts at an earlier age, knowing that kids, maybe uh, students in the third, fourth grades, uh, if they can get a little taste of agriculture, that might propel them onto a career in that industry as well. You bet. And that's why 4-H, um, which is, of course, one of our extension programs, and then our partnership with FFA, those are really important. Uh, because we know there's fewer and fewer young people who are having that firsthand experience of growing up on a farm themselves. Uh, and so we really want as many young people as possible to understand uh, the, the breadth of agriculture and the terrific careers, you know, whether it's uh, in production, whether it's uh, studying the science and biology or uh, natural resources in the environment. Uh, whether it's technology with precision farming or, you know, the drones and all the artificial intelligence, or whether it's also things like international trade and policy and communications. Agriculture has all those kinds of career opportunities, as you well know, uh, and we want to make sure young people really can appreciate uh, what a great industry this is to work in. Well, I'm sure our viewer now knows that you're a very busy lady, and uh, we wish you all the, the best. And uh, if folks would like to get in touch with you, what's the best way for them to go about doing that? Well, if you just come to the Ohio State University website and you look for our college, you'll find me pretty, pretty fast uh, within our college. And I, I really do appreciate hearing from people. Uh, you know, one of the reasons that we're successful in the college is because we have great partners and great supporters throughout the state, and, and we're very appreciative of that. Kathan, thanks for being with us. Thank you so much, and go Bucks.